It's my great pleasure to introduce the Honourable Minister for Jobs and Innovation, Michaela Cash. It really is just an honour and a pleasure for me to join you uh, here today. I, I can do some fantastic things in my role as the Minister for Jobs and Innovation, but there's nothing better than being in my home state at a homegrown business, uh, meeting with Western Australians who quite literally are working at the highest level. Gary, congratulations to you and your team. But the reason we are here today is actually to announce some funding. And it's through a project that the government runs, which is known as the Cooperative Research Centre Funding. This is all about government backing industry when industry says, as I said, we have an issue, but guess what? We've actually come up with what we believe is the solution. If you can match the government funding or better it, then we are prepared to put our money on the table. I am delighted to announce that Calidus Welding Solutions will receive more than $1.25 million under the government's cooperative research program to develop long life alloy components for hydro metallurgical processing. The project is focused on extending the working life of three critical components to mineral processing facilities. And when I read this, I was blown away. From nine months to 18 months. I don't need to tell the experts in this room what that is going to potentially mean for your industry. But the project also aims to bring down the or reduce the costs involved in costly production shutdowns. And can I just say a huge thank you to those from Newcrest Mining and Murrin Murrin Operations um, for putting your hand up and for being part of this collaborative process. But also, the total funding is actually $2,710,795 that has been raised to bring this project to life. And also, I want to thank the representatives here today from Deakin University and from the CSIRO. This is genuine collaboration. The beauty of this software though, and this robot is, it automatically maintains the parameters. Yep. So once you get so it, it set it up- So there's a control loop back control to the actual loop. robot. It, it won't crash, yeah. it, it will know. So it's know. not just monitoring, it's, it, it's, it's, it's self-adjusting. So it's yeah. a feedback control loop. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very clever. Yeah. Our core business is developing these in, erosion and, and corrosion like solutions. Yeah. When I came to Murray yeah. Murray, there's guys like Rob yeah. who've been there for a while yeah. who recognize the value of the technology. It's not everybody in the who sector actually, who can think big enough and say, you know, those improvements, those nitride coatings, correct. that's going to lead yeah. to this. Uh, a lot of folks just want to operate it. You know, build it again, build it again, but uh, it takes some unique folks in the business like Rob okay. who understand yeah. the value equation yeah. of, of driving innovation. These right. types of collaborative yeah. um, agreements don't just happen because there's a lot of trust involved. Those Aussie industry grants have been yeah. absolutely critical in getting what was a great idea and that we knew work yeah. lifted absolutely. in profile Correct. and lifted yeah. in results. Yeah, absolutely. And that and that's where we're going to take it to the next level with this with this grant. The result part of it will be exponential now, right? And that's we look forward to solving some really seriously good problems.